Hi everyone, this is size 10 heavy gauge grub hook and the bead I'm using is 3 mm tungsten black bead and, and the thread is clear mono which is it's a clear fine clear thread so I'm just gonna start below the eye and just keep going I will explain all the materials this is basically a little bit different and uh, been working very well. Very simple to tie. Need a little practice. So I'm just going to go keep going all the way. These are rather large larvae so you can use size 12 which is still also works fine now I'm gonna come back I'm just trying to use touch and turn so we can have a nice and fine level body that's fine I'm just gonna add a little olive marker just on the body this is a kind of transparent body it's got no thread involved in it just a clear mono I'm going to use black thread on the end actually body again it's a clear stretch one millimeter beading elastic and I'm going to melt one side just to cut this tip I'm just going to catch just about here make sure you take your time here and then come back towards the eye to the bead I'm just going to build up a little bit thicker here. <coughs> Again, need a little bit more green in here, olive. And just some on the body. Now bring your material. Use touching turn don't want to go too close to the eye so to the bead so we need some dubbing space here. And I'm going to cut this off and make sure you secure this properly and finish off with this thread. Uh, what we'll do, I'm just going to Put some varnish on there so just secure it properly. That's fine. Next thread is block A2 and just start below the bead. Now this is properly secure now. I'm gonna add for legs. This is a brown partridge. <coughs> this is a brown partridge feather. So if I'm just gonna catch it from the tip. If you can just pull this out. We need one or two turn. Once you secure this properly. I cut this off and 
I'm just gonna get a huckle play. And then hold this puck. Take your time again. Make sure all the fibers are facing backward. Like I said, take your time. Cut this stem off. Okay, just gonna add some wax on the thread and we need some black dubbing. This is a, my rabbit mix, black haze with some glitter where you can use just plain black. I'm just gonna add some more. this park and all you need is some varnish on the thread fill this bark couple of turn and then we finish so there we have clear stretch transparent cardis larvae great pattern for winter. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.